Uh, hey everybody, thanks for joining me. Uh, Justin with Midwest Mealworms. I'm going to um, get these uh, super worms that I had separated. Uh, I had a video on, on how I use these and how I cut them. I uh, did that a couple weeks ago and now uh, I've got pupa and I'm starting to get some of the pupa to hatch. Uh, so I'm going to take these out. Uh, I've got three trays of them. Uh, take them out, um, sort them out, and uh, anything that is still um, still in the worm form will go back in the colony. Um, if it hasn't changed by now, it's not going to. Uh, there is some death, um, and it just is part of the game. Uh, you want to make sure that you feed them real well with moisture sources before you separate them like this. So um, it's going to happen, though. Uh, and as I sort these out, we'll see that. Uh, so some of them just have not changed yet, have not turned from the, the um, superworm into the pupa. I do have some die off here and I actually have a couple, I've got one here that's got two in there and those haven't changed because again you have to separate them uh, so they'll pupate. So we'll go ahead and uh, get started. One of the things I really like about these tubes. Break off there. Uh, one thing I really like is I can separate these out very quickly. So instead of doing one of these, taking a lid off of, of one, um, I'm able to uncup them and you can see there I've got a couple fresh fresh beetles. Awesome to see that. Uh, I still have some super worms out there crawling around so I'll take care of the dead stuff, get it out of the way. And those supers are going to start crawling, and that's all right. They're they're going to head back into the colony because they just have not changed. some dead ones there. I'd say probably about 20% in this tray um, that didn't make it. Uh, so now I'm going to get the uh, supers. Need to come out of here. And as you're grabbing these, what you'll notice is some of them Right before they pupate, they, uh, they, they turn into a nice C shape. Grab that. So they'll C up just like that, just get in that curve. Um, and so anything that's in there like this, I'm going to leave in because this is going to pupate, just hasn't happened yet. So um, anything that's in that C form is going to stay in with the pupa. Uh, but anything that's moving around, I mean, there's some supers here that been going for a couple of weeks here so they're pretty hungry so they'll get fed today um, head back into the colony do some growing a lot of different reasons on why they haven't uh, transitioned yet they may not have been uh, big enough um, might not have been hydrated very well even though I usually feed for two or three days consecutively before I separate which is more than what I normally feed which is about every other day um, so maybe they just didn't eat uh, for some reason um, and just aren't ready to pupate. So nothing, nothing wrong with them. Uh, they can go back into the uh, regular tubs of supers um, to try again another day or to head your way. Alright. And even after a couple passes, I always seem to find one that's hiding from me. There's one underneath it. There. All right, and we got some fresh beetles too, which is exciting. Um, let me grab a container for them. Put them in here. So the fresh beetles you want to be real careful with, because they're not their shells are not hard yet. Their exoskeleton is nice and soft. So I'm trying to be real gentle while I pick this guy up to show you. 
you can see as he crawls around there, he's he's just starting to turn red when they come out, when they freshly molt out of the uh, being a pupa, they're nice and white, and then they start to transition. They turn a red color, then a brown, and then a, a black. So this guy's fresh. Uh, it's a good way to know uh, when you're ordering uh, beetles um, that you've gotten fresh ones. If they're solid, solid, solid black, uh, ask some questions. Every now and then you get some fast changers. Um, but uh, fresh ones like these, uh, you want to get them, you know, hatched that week, shipped out to you on Monday. That's that's what I do. That's my process. So these guys are actually destined for an order that's going out uh, Tuesday because Monday's a holiday. Um, but they've been ordered and that way they're nice and fresh and have a, a good long life ready to lay eggs for you. So I'm just going to put him back in this one as gentle as I can. I got a couple more. And again, just be, be careful with them. You don't want to pinch them too hard. Um, stress them out too much. Uh, they're pretty hardy creatures, but always good to treat with respect. Okay, and I'll just do a little bit more clean out. There's a, several of them in here that are still uh, C-shaped, um, so I'll leave them in. Let me see if I can find what will happen. Let's see if I can get a, a couple differences here for you. A couple pupa in different stages. What I mean by that is, I mean, it's the pupa stage, right? But look at these two here. So you can tell this white one here is, is much fresher in the pupa stage. Uh, so this was a superworm that turned turned later. This is one that turned earlier. And see how it's, it's starting to darken up its legs that you can see the eyes. I'll get my finger out of the way for you. There's got, he's got eyes in there. Um, might be a she. Um, but it's starting to darken up and it's going to start to hatch which is really cool. Um, so there's a, a bunch of them in here, various phases of the pupa stage and some that are still getting there. So I'll take these and pupa are very much the same way as the beetle, right? When, they're, when they first transition, uh, they're gonna be a little soft. So take it nice and easy. You don't need to be real rough. You can see them in there moving around. So even though the pupa don't do any eating, they do still move. In there, and that's that. Uh, so I'll give this tray a good, excuse me, a good wipe down. Uh, clean it out. Um, get some of this um, off the bottom. It's just a little bit of uh, body fluid from the supers that didn't make it, uh, unfortunately. Um, clean this thing up. Put these guys back in, uh, and then this one's ready to go. So I'm going to feed some uh, supers. I've got some that have been fed for two days in a row now. I'm going to feed them again tonight. And then I'll recouple them and keep this process going. Um, but I'm going to pause from speaking and go ahead and put my mask on because, as you can see, we're moving things around. Stuff starting to get in the air. So always wear your mask. Uh, protect your, your lungs and your eyes from uh, the frass and the allergies. Um, but it's as simple as that. So we've got four fresh ones in here. Starting to move around, uh, which is awesome. Um, and these are the supers that... Uh, were stubborn or just not ready. Um, they could have been smaller. Uh, they, they got put in there a little too early. Um, sometimes they'll change, sometimes they won't. So these guys will go back in the colony. Uh, and I, my guess is they're hungry. They're going to eat uh, pretty quickly. Um, and then these uh, pupa here, I'll get those, put them into a tray, uh, and let those beetles start uh, hatching out, get them into a, a container and start laying. All right. Let me get my mask on and Get the rest of these trays done.